We believe that we can do more to support the climate research community. That's why we've launched two new element series on environmental humanities and earth system governance. Both of these series are transdisciplinary and we're excited by their potential to really break down disciplinary boundaries in the climate space. The first project in early 2019 was to install solar up on our roof. We're very fortunate here in that we have a large flat roof area so we were able to install a solar system of considerable size, 547 kilowatts. This system will give us a carbon reduction of 233 tonnes every year and also will save in excess of £50,000 on our energy bills. First of all, we've improved how we deal with compostable waste management by moving to a plant which specialises in anaerobic digestion and this has enabled us to dispose of our vegware and food waste in a much more environmentally friendly way, converting the food waste into fertiliser. We've also finished off our project to install energy efficient LED lighting into our office at Coventry and recently commissioned new e-vehicle charging points in our car park and our main building at the Triangle in Cambridge. We have a big job on our hands because the uh, largest source of emissions is our Scope 3 emissions from our product and paper, but we are making steps to try and make a, a dent in those figures uh, by making small changes to our packaging through sustainable procurement and through reducing the volume of paper that we're using as well as always reviewing the quality and what we can do working with our partners, our suppliers, the Book Chain Project, other publishers to try and move the industry forward with um, more um, environmentally sustainable practices um, to contribute to our net zero targets in partnership with the university. These are very grassroots kind of changes that we're making, but some of them are quite challenging. They range from things like removing single-use cups from our cafeteria area and replacing them with ceramic mugs. And also things like how is our waste being removed? Are we recycling correctly? And recently we're working on projects around printing. How can we reduce printing in the office? This is a challenging group because we work across lots of different offices but you can also really see the changes that we're all making. And it's something that a lot of colleagues can bring their day-to-day -day experience into the office as well. So we've been doing a lot of plant-based uh, eating kind of campaigns um, because the science is really clear about plant-based diet is one of the sort of single biggest things you can do in terms of greenhouse gases, land use, water use, biodiversity, antibiotic resistance and more. Um, so we sort of started off in Veganuary 2019, Kate. Yeah, so it started off with a kind of Veganuary lunch club with people who'd signed up to eat a vegan diet for the month of January. It started out with about 10 people and um, by 2020 this year, um, yeah, we, we had about 50 people signed up um, from all around um, the globe, from Spain to the US to Manila. Um, it was pretty amazing. We even had our best-selling author, Mike Berners-Lee, come in to do a lunch and learn session with all the colleagues and talk about his book, There Is No Planet B, which was hugely successful. I think there really are things you can, we can all do to be part of a movement that really pushes much more strongly, you know, pushes for change much more strongly than, than just cutting our own carbon, which is part of it.